Sam asks, hey, Merritt, what are your thoughts on indicators? Do you look for delta divergences at all? Uh, yeah, I mean, delta, you know, diverging from price is, is one small component of, of the overall uh, methodology that I use. So yeah, I mean, that's my, th but my thoughts overall on indicators are that they're not good or bad. I'm neutral on indicators. What's the real answer as to what makes an indicator good or bad? It's how you use it. It's if it has a job description. If you know exactly the purpose of it for your trading and you're able to objectively use it to give you a piece of information that's not already given to you by some other piece of information that you're also incorporating in your process. So it needs to be independent. It needs to be unique. It needs to add value to the process and it needs to have a job description. Other than that, you could use MACD or stochastics or uh, VWAP or all kinds of things. And they're, they're all great. But throwing up indicators and looking for the indicator on a standalone basis to give you edge or something like that is never going to happen. There's way, 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 way smarter um, AI out there that tests all those things constantly and knows what's going on with what it's going to eat up all that before you and I could ever in our wildest dreams think that we could slap on an indicator and, and, and get edge from it. It's not, it's never going to happen. Things are too sophisticated, but what an indicator can help you do is essentially have checklists, you know, it's a visual way of you not doing something stupid. That's, that's what a lot of times the indicators are best for. When I use VWAP and standard deviations and things like that, it's not a, a something I'm interested in. Like, you know, I, I teach a couple trade locations with DVA and things like that, but it's not, that's not what it's about. The real value add of, of VWAP as I use it is where not to trade where it's stupid and asking too much of the market to, to trade, where there's no great intraday edge because it's chopping around in, in the, the middle third type area or whatever the case may be. That's the value of, of things like that. Indicators can be great to help people in certain terms of training wheels to pull the trigger. One indicator that I like and teach a lot of beginner students is, is a Heikenashi it smooths out some of the noise of general up bar, down bar type information and kind of hides some of that information from us. So it dumbs down when and where there are shifts in momentum in the market. That's what it does. So it's a, it's a great tool that I get people to say, okay, we're trading pullbacks. Your job is to look for, you know, obviously where context makes sense, where you sh you're in a, let's say, a, a, a bearish setup, and now just wait for a pullback and then wait for the Heikinashi to change colors. That's full use of an indicator. And what are we using this indicator for? What's its job description? Is it giving us some kind of magical insight into the market? Not even close. It's telling us if you've got everything else checking out, our job is to now short where we get a decent shift in momentum and the Heikinashi can help us see where that is objectively rather than you having to sweat over whether you see it or not. It can help with some decision-making. So that's my thought on indicators. Mm -hmm.